Kent defeat the Showers to maintain their impressive form in Division 2. Day 3 had left Kent on the brink of another championship victory at Tunbridge Wells. Another fine innings from Joe Denley had allowed them to set Sussex an unlikely victory target of 504, and the Kent bowlers then reduced the visitors to 182 for 6. As day 4 began, the only question seemed to be how quickly Kent would wrap up the win. Their bid to pick up the four wickets they needed was delayed initially by Michael Burgess, who reached his half-century from 162 balls. His partnership with David Visa had reached 51 when Kent made their first breakthrough of the day. Visa bowled by James Harris for 34. But after that, Kent were frustrated, and with rain heading towards Tunbridge Wells, they hoped the new ball would do the trick. It created an opportunity only for Will Gidman to drop Burgess at first slip off Matt Coles. But with lunch approaching, Kent did edge closer to victory. Coles trapped Burgess LBW for 68, and Sussex were 263 for 8. But that was to be Kent's last success of the morning session, as Philander and Archer decided attack was the best form of defence. The home side faced an anxious wait to see if the showers would deny them victory. As expected, the rain arrived and delayed the start of the afternoon session, but as soon as it stopped, Kent took another wicket. Archer's defiant knock brought to an end by Harris, LBW for 27. With number 11 Danny Briggs at the other end, Vernon Philander went down with all guns blazing. Briggs was inspired too, as the final pair added another 44 runs, but it was all in vain. When Briggs became Harris's fourth victim, LBW for 18, Sussex were all out for 356, and Kent had won by 147 runs. Philander's 73 not out in the end, but the damage had been done by Kent on day three. Coles and Harris the pick of the bowlers, and man of the match Denley weighed in with two important wickets. Kent were always ahead in the game once they bowled Sussex out cheaply first time around, and their 23 points from the match keeps them second in Division 2, just four points behind leaders Knots. Their fourth win and Sussex's third loss with just three points. They're stuck in mid-table and have a tough home game against Worcestershire starting on Friday. Kent entertained Durham on the following Thursday.